It is going to be relatively challenging, you're here to be challenged but it's totally okay to struggle with something the first time round or even the second time round, you know, it is okay to not understand. Your fellow students and your tutors are there to help you. It is hard work, it's a lot of work and our terms are quite short relative to most universities so we've only got eight week terms so it's a lot crammed into quite a short amount of time. Um, but the work is very manageable. So lectures are university-wide talks given by academics, sort of at a group of students, although there are opportunities to ask questions at the end and throughout if you want to. Those are uni-wide, not run by your college. Classes are when a smaller group of students, so my classes this year were about 10 people, sit down with a tutor and you all discuss the reading or the work that you've been doing this week. That usually takes place in college or maybe in another college, but it's on a smaller teaching level. You usually won't have to submit work ahead of time for classes, although you might be asked from time to time to do a presentation. Um, and then tutes are when a group of two students or three students maximum, I think that's the biggest tutor I've been in, sit down with a tutor and discuss an essay or reading or work that you have submitted ahead of time and that that tutor will mark and grade for you. So the differences are mainly on size, how much time you get with the tutor, you know, what level of interactivity you get. So I, I get asked this a lot, are tutorials scary? Definitely not. They are daunting at first just because you don't know how they work and you don't know what the dynamic is going to be like. But once you get into it, they are brilliant. They are so, so much fun. They're definitely not scary. They are an opportunity to have a really nice academic chat with someone who's basically an expert in their field um, and might actually be one of the best in the world with their respective content base that they cover. And you've got the opportunity to ask them questions and they ask you questions and you're just bouncing ideas off each other. Um, so definitely not scary, daunting at first, but once you realise that they're just a really nice academic chat, then they become honestly the highlight of your week. I scheduled my work by using a weekly routine and I've also sort of planned when things will be due in, because my things are always due in in a regular pattern every week, and that sort of helped me develop a routine and schedule my work so that it's always done in time. It can be difficult to schedule your work because each week's different. Each week you're likely to be working on something else. Um, I try and, if I have assignments, a similar, a similar sort of format of assignment each week, I try and do that at the same time each week. Um, and I try and make specific times of day where I try and work. I think I avoid, if I can, working late at night. Um, and I think just getting into a routine, it will, it, it will take, uh, it might take a long time to get into a routine. Um, but I think routine is really good for scheduling work as well. So this is the thing, you control all your own time, essentially, because it's very self-directed, very self-disciplined. Um, so how much free time I get is really kind of up to me um, and there was one term where I was like I'm adamant that I want my evenings off just for my own well-being so I try and finish all my work before, like by dinner time about 6 p.m. and then the evenings I spent um, doing like hanging out with friends and doing various activities going to the gym etc um, last term I had a really heavy workload term and it was a bit more difficult to do that but I still had time and I really do stresses that you do need time off to be able to work uh, better.